everybody and welcome back excuse me just a second hello 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 and welcome back to my stream i hope you all have had a good week and have a great weekend ahead of you uh and if not i'm here for you <laughs> anyway before we get started Linktree, Patreon. Sorry, I quickly shoved some candy in my mouth and I'm trying to keep it out of the way so it's not distracting. But anyway, I hope you all are doing good. And I hope you all are ready for the weekend. So uh, let's get started. Good morning, May. Old May sunshine. All right, let's warm up. Let's warm up with some die anywhere else. not here oh whoa. not here oh no cool that burnt pretty well yeah exactly <laughs> alrighty 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 let's check the computer the pooter oh whoa all right hey hey b from mrs miranda <laughs> She's upset that we messed up her basement. Whatever, she didn't need us to clean it up. I'm at work all day. Just saying, if you want to say hello, I am here to be helloed at... Oh, oh. <laughs> I ship it so bad. Eh, hey, boyo! Work all day, very bored. Work sucks. <coughs> Crap, Falcon. <coughs> More like it. Give me just a second and we'll do a try around of uh Demon Tower. Yes. 
excuse me, goddamn. I've been fine all day. As soon as I get in front of the computer, I'm coughing. going to ignore those two. <coughs> okay, there's the exit. Now, then over <coughs> through this. <coughs> oh, right, hold. <coughs> God damn. Oh no. One try is all I said. All right, let's go. <coughs> God, excuse me. I deeply apologize for all my coughing. you can learn to talk to birds. I mean, technically. <laughs> tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet, motherfucker. Hey, mom. 
Yawn. Morning, long night. Yeah. Went to work with B. Oh, are you gonna work there? No, mom, I was just tagging along. Though I was like really useful. Mm-hmm. It was a new and exciting feeling. Mm-hmm. You okay? Yeah, just been doing boring adult stuff. What kind of adult stuff? I'm adult stuff. Adult stuff you probably don't want to hear about from your parents. Dot, 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 question mark. Just like budget, bills, numbers. A lot of adulthood is number stress. <laughs> Fair. That sounds bad. I'm bad at numbers. Oh, I remember. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Okay, well, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> Hold on just a second, let me... There we go. Mm-hmm. Have a nice day! Numbers, numbers, numbers. Excuse me. Still can't pass you guys, that's fine. Whee! Ooh, hold on. I have a tr I have I have something I have something I want to try. Hold on. Ah oh, damn. I didn't time that well. So I can't get up there from that. All right, fine. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. Totally, what's up, Selmers? You know what's good? Off the top of my head, not oh, <laughs> not bleeding on your seat in junior high, <laughs> not falling in a trash can and puking on yourself, <laughs> not seriously injuring someone during your first kiss at senior prom. Uh. Honestly, that sounds right. <laughs> I was gonna say those fruit snack thingies we used to eat in grade school. Oh, right. Yeah, those are really good. Did that other thing happen to you? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Why would you ask? Want to hear a new poem? Yeah! Sometimes I like fruit snacks out by the train tracks. Decent. A juice box and headphones. I enter the juice zone. Jeez, those are like all I want now. You made them sound so real. I could taste the atomic dino snacks and the blue clear squeezer. Thanks. I think Mr. Chazakov's up there again. Oh, really? He's gonna fall right off, uh, right on this stoop one day. I can see the water tower from my back window. Seen a fire up by there the other night. Wonder who was up there. Ooh. All right, let's go talk to Chazakov. Wait. When the flood happened that one year, this pole fell over. And I was scared it'd somehow electrify the water all over the neighborhood, and it'd stay that way. And I was kind of afraid of taking a shower or turning on the faucet for weeks. After the flood, it laid in our yard for two weeks, like a big dead thing. But then they put it back up, and I could see it from my window at night, and it felt spooky for some reason. Spooky pole! Undead friend! Watching me from the curb! <laughs> God, I love her!
Damn, I missed. Two, oh, nope. One, two, three. Yay! All right. Hey, 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 um, person. May Borowski. Yeah. Up here on my roof. Yeah. Come to hunt some dusk stars. Definitely. Come have a look. Whoa! My eyes. Filter! Alright, so there's the one of the ones I found before. There we go! Found one! Found one! Found one! Let's have a look-see. Darling the Seer. How come I've never heard of these guys? Eh! By the time they got to these rare stars, the well-known myths and legends were taken. <laughs> oh. This one, Sterling, is a tale of the world changing and leaving one behind. These are all gonna be bummers, huh? That is not for me to say. <clears throat> is it a bad thing for the world to move on? Well, I mean, this guy probably doesn't think so. Either way, one day, his king met a new sage, an astronomer, and she showed the king how the planets and stars orbit the re in regular pan patterns and why. And the king kicked Sterling out of his quarters, for the seer had long told the king a different story about the stars. Did Sterling believe his own story? I believe he did. Well, that's how things go. Is there no responsibility to care for those whose labor even one's universe are suddenly replaced with a new one are they obsolete that's how life is so you believe that some should go hungry and without homes because they are no longer useful to those in power no i believe that people should always have their base uh their base necessities uh supplied for free uh, with no strings attached for the entirety of their days from birth to death no matter what circumstance, a person should always have everything that meets their base desires. Food, shelter, communication, transportation, and health, and education, and I think I had more, but those are all the only ones that are coming to mind right now. But anyway, well, geez, Mr. Chazakov, when you put it that way. <laughs> I love his laugh. The stars, they make one think. All right, let's see what else we got. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh. Boom. Found one. Let's see. The musket. Ah, uh, yes, Simone the fighter. She got a gun. Simone lived in a good land, but under the but but under every good land are the roots of oppression, and in this land those roots took hold and choked out all else. That was poetic, Mr. Chazakov. Thanks. I was just reading the summary off my phone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we may not have signal, but we have Wi-Fi. Anyway, when the borders closed and the curfew began, Simone and her comrades began to plot. They infiltrated, they sabotaged, they freed prisoners. Very nice. Simone was one of the first to be identified, but she evaded capture even as the wanted posters went up. As whispers of her grew throughout the land, more and more of her neighbors prayed in, uh, prayed in the night that Simone would be their salvation. Was she? We do not know where Simone is buried. Ah, goddammit, I knew this wasn't going to be happy. We do know that when things boiled over, she led a charge against the palace gates, and behind those gates were cannons. Oh, no. 
Many years later, when the mass graves were exhumed, her bones were mixed with so many others that it, it was said that she now lives on in the bones of all her oh, bones of all in her country. Jeez, that got dark and sad and spooky. <laughs> that is history. That's both of them for today. Neato. <laughs> wow, that was pretty great. Goodbye again. Couple of days. We shall hunt the stars. <laughs> Sterling Simone. Roof Cat is correct. Are you an astrologer or something? The word is astronomer, and I am but an amateur. You know a lot for someone who isn't paid to know about it. Well, that is one of the saddest sentences I've ever heard! <laughs> laughing through the pain! <clears throat> Sorry? Come back in a couple of days. We'll cram some stars into that head of yours. Will do! Will do, teacher Roo! Bum, ba da dum, bum, bum, ba, ba. Um. Hey, Selmers! Hey, Porch Rito. You're gonna make my dog anxious, and she poops a lot when she's anxious. You bet I'm gonna make your dog anxious. Be anxious, little dog! Be anxious! Shit all over the house! Sorry. I'll stop. <laughs> Ooh, hi, new person. Or at least not one we've seen in a while. Can I speak this to you? Lady, little girl, child, creepy thing? Okay, she blinks, that's good. <laughs> I was just like, is, is, is she there? Is she actually there? Oh, there is something I wanna try, hold on. Oh, not that. What? What? Wah, wah. There we go. All right. Now then, let's see. Does she yell at me for being up here? Sometimes I do get yelled at. You do get yelled at for being up on these things. Apparently, she's not someone who yells at you for being up on the roof. At least I think you do. I could be wrong. It's been a while. It's been a while. Oops. And actually, I don't even know. I may not have even been to this area. <laughs> I may not have gotten this far. Okay, so I can't stand on the little uh, porch roof thing. All right, into the tunnel we go. Ah, fishing, fisher, fisherman. Fishing, fisherman. Wife long gone, kids don't care. Tunnel fish are always there. Haha, ha, yeah, man. Oh god, please don't listen. Get some rap babies would love a delicious pretzel. Pretzel. Babies are gonna have to go hungry. Hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, May. How are you feeling today? Oh, I, oh, I feel the damp and the cold down here, but it's in my bones wherever I go, so no harm. Did you want to talk about Granddad? Oh yes. Where was I? Troublemakers in my family. Right. Back then, there were no, there were places that brought us all together, or at least brought us together in bits and bobs. The old Smokies, the Grand Bears, the Lodge of Old, the Church and the Union. There'd be dances up at the HB. That's where I met your granddad, oh, a lifetime ago. What was he like back then? Plain in most respects, prone to fits of melancholy. But funny and wild when the occasion called. Surprising is, I guess, the word. Hmm. What did your daddy say about him? 
This did put trying? Sounds right! That sounds... You all right, Miss Rosa? Oh, yes. Let's talk another time. Okay. Hope you feel better. Oh, May. Oh, dear May. Bum, wee, boom, boom, wee, boom, boom, wee, boom, 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 wee, boom, boom. Okay, nothing down here. <coughs> Sorry, rat babies, you're gonna have to miss out on food this time because I fucked up! Alright, let's look at this. I don't know what you're supposed to do with that. All right. To the church. Yuck, church. is apparently not here unless he's down this way hey Bruce seen a fire through the trees last night past these woods here weird noises I just kept to myself and they went away where right over there past the water tower oh okay yeah that's a place where teens hang out let's hope that's all it was in my experience, strange fire and strange voices ain't never been good. I wonder if they'll be back. Hope not. Yee! Okay. I don't see any remnants of a fire unless it was in the background somewhere. Or would have been in the background somewhere, I guess. I'll get to you in a second, Ma. I can't go in there yet. Hey, Mom! Hey, Mom! Can't talk today, lots to do. Really? What could possibly be going on? Well, sweetie, we have the town council here today. And after that, a 12-step program meeting in the basement. Oh, wow. And I'm doing both church budget and our budget at the same time. I'll leave you alone then. Thanks, hon. Honey, I really do need to concentrate. Love you, Mom. He's very nice. Yeah, and he could he could be like the first. A trial run. Where would you put him? Oh, in the basement. Or in the old library? With all the books? He's not gonna eat them. Interesting proposal, Kate. Yes, thank you for bringing this to us. I look forward to us moving forward together on this. It will be brought up at the town council meeting. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, troops, move out. God, I don't like the town council. How's things? Okay, weird dreams. Want to talk about it? Not really. I dreamed I was trapped in a wall. Jeez. No, it was fine. I knew the rescue crew was coming in a few hours. And it was cozy, so I could take a nap guilt-free. <laughs> you feel guilty about naps? Yo, it says a lot about an adult when you feel guilt- when you dream about having guilt-free sleep. That is too real. 
Wish I didn't. How's that whole thing with Bruce going? I'm hopeful and positive. It sounds like so what someone says when they're not. Aha. Uh -huh. It's fine, May. It's going fine. Anything back here? No. Okay. You know, I would get yeah. I would have growing up. I would have gotten yelled at for running in a church like this or jumping around a church like that, especially the sanctuary. Can I come in for the twelve-step program? Break in here first. Sorry, rat babies, I for I couldn't get you food today. Oh, bye bye's. Nothing down here? Okay. Kid, what you up to? Hey, adult, nothing. Sounds good. I was gonna go down to the tracks. Did you want to come? Sorry if that sounds boring. You don't have to go. It's okay. Haha, <laughs> jeez. Let me answer before you decide I said no. Oh, okay. Did you want to go? Oh, God. I want to talk to everybody else first. Actually, I can't. Oh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. It'd be really boring anyway. Oh man, I didn't mean to make you sad. I'm just busy today is all. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. See you later. See ya. Oh, I blew my chance! Damn it. Should not have talked to her first. I should have gone and talked to B first. I feel really bad now, because I did want to go hang out with her. I just... I want to talk to the roof cat. Let me talk to the roof cat. There we go. There we go. Nope, can't do shit with the roof cat. Alright. Damn it, I really should have talked to B first to see what B was doing. guess how's video land good good start of the halloween rush got a pretty good horror section nice 
You got a favorite? What, horror movie? Yeah. Scythe Sabbath or Black Oaks? Black Oaks sounds better. Ooh, nice, witchy. Yeah, it's witchy as hell and scary. Yeah, that one's like historical. The witchy version. Well, see you later. Bye! I'm glad Angus is back for uh, Greg's sake. Greg was going kind of crazy. Who are you? Hey, CJ? Yeah? You were like in high school when I was in middle school. Oh, huh. Did I know you? I used to play nerd games with Tom uh, with Tom Bramwell across the street from my house. Aha, nerd games. That's quite a memory you got there. Do you live here anymore? Nah, just back visiting <clears throat> for nerd games. They were like pen and paper role playing stuff. Cool. But no, I'm just visiting family. Husband's driving down tomorrow. Aw. What do you do now? Lawyer. Oh, wow. Can I ask you some law stuff? Well, I'm not acting in a professional capacity, but yeah, sure. What's the best way to rob a bank? What's the best way to get out of jail? Well, it depends on the situation. You see, like, would you dig through the wall or, like, attack a guard and take their pants and identity? Or, like, I don't know, just cause a riot or something. Huh. What's the best prison gang? Like, if you had to pick. You know, we don't really learn this kind of stuff in law school. What's the point of going to college if you don't learn useful shit? Laws are pretty useful. Useful my ass, CJ. Sorry. Welcome back. Have a nice visit. Bye. Uh-huh. See ya. God, I love her. Sunny again, thank goodness. What's got you down? Ah, it's nothing. Hey, yeah, go smelters, right? Yeah, go smelters. Back Falcon! Falcon in the snacks! Gregory! Hey, hey, hey! Hi! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Whoa, what's up with you? I wanna do something! Okay, wow. You drink like all the coffee? Or you have a near death experience or something? You drink like all the coffee? I can't have coffee, makes me anxious. Oh wow, that sucks. And it tastes gross, agreed. Not if it's mostly milk and sugar. Seems like a lot of hassle to make something gross taste okay. So dude, 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 dude. You wanna do something, something, something? Uh, okay, today, dude. Oh man, it's cool. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Okay. Can't today, dude. All right. All right, so Greg wants to do something. Gregory! Is there anything going on down here? No. Ooh, if I go this way, it actually lets me this time. Hey, germ. Hey, want to hang out? I don't know. I'm supposed to hang with Greg or B tonight. Jeez, I'm not asking you to run away and get married. Uh, no. Okay, bye. Bye. Germ wants to hang out. I kind of want to hang out with B. If she's up for anything. Can't get past that. Okay. The old food donkey. The heart of hometown since 1972. Pass the click clack. All right, let's go talk. To, well, wait. I wanna. Oh fuck me. There we go. All right. Hold on. Is there anything else here that I can do with this other than open that? Uh, 
Apparently not. Okay. Okay, drugs and malt. So, what's in the news? Quantarax closing down next month, laying off late last 24 people. What's that? Pa a place out past Brittle assembles tiny computer doodads. Oh, okay, yeah, someone I know, uh, someone I knew's mom worked there. Real small work, uh, bad on the fingers after a while. I bagged groceries for a while. How's that? You put the cold, heavy stuff on the bottom, and then the veggies and fruit, and the bread on top. Well, looks like you got it all figured out. Bum, ba -da -da, bum, bum, ba -bum. All right. Two, three. Okay. Bum, ba -da -da, bum, bum. All right, let's go talk to B. See what she's got going on. B, baby. B, bay. Where are you? Hey, dude. Hello. How's working here going? Eh, I don't know. It pays. I like refuse to unload all that rock salt by myself. It's not even Halloween yet. Hey, May. How's the pickaxe? Trying to kill me. Unsuccessfully. Thus far, at least. What's so stressful? Well, on top of everything else, we're hosting that stupid Harfest play tomorrow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm never offering to do this again. What are you up to tonight? Uh, nothing. I'm like super tired because everything about my life is exhausting. And I'm doing the work of like three employees plus a sto store owner, even though I'm one employee and I do not own this store. Oh, weird. I thought for some reason you owned this place by now. You'd think, but also no, I'd rather die. Literally make me a coffin using materials and tools from the store and bury me anywhere else. Jeez, that got intense. Uh, anyway, I'm doing nothing tonight. I can do nothing too. Fine. So are we doing this? I'm sure I got a couple other stops to make. Let's hang out. Hey B. Hi, hi May. Hi Germ. Hey dude. Germ is helping me move. Ouch. Move stuff for under the table cash. Well, I'm not gonna off work early to pick up some groceries. Wanna come? Sure. Ready to go? You got a lot of hammers. Holy shit, there's so many kinds of nails. All right, then. He's like something out of a children's book about whatever the hell he is. <laughs> Dinner at B. <laughs> this place killed the food donkey. Yeah, kinda. Food. You know, no one who works here had anything to do with that. Donkey! <laughs> True. Okay. I need to grab a few things quick. Oh, I thought we were going to hang out. Uh, we are hanging out. I'm just here to grab something for dinner for dad and me. Don't feel like doing the big shopping tonight. The big shop tonight. Let me pick out what we have. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you coming to dinner? Can I? Um, I guess. Are you asking? I wasn't, but now it feels weird not to. I'll pick out what we eat then. Jeez. Wait, you serious? Yeah. You know what? Go for it. I hate shopping. Need like a main course and two sides? Fancy. What counts as a main course? Mm, fancy. Eh, we're traditional. What kind of main course? We can stop by, uh, stop back in the meat section once you pick out whatever else. What about dessert? We're not children. Appetizer? We're on a budget, May. Okay, okay, okay. You hang out, and I'll be right back. Just make it quick and not too horrible. Also, Dad's sensitive to broccoli, so no broccoli. Okay. Oh, also, no shoplifting this time. Aww. 
I can afford few. I can afford a few groceries, May. Also, this place has cameras. Good point. We need a canned good or something. All right, let's see. Hash, green beans. No idea what that is. Mac and cheese, tasty taters, mashy, uh, mashed potatoes, nice rice. Ooh. Quick skits. <laughs> Quick skits! Quick! <laughs> Cream greens. Alright. Hmm. Should I get shaky bakey? That goes well with meat. No. Alright. So shaky bakey. Hmm. Mac and cheese, tasty taters, mashed potatoes, or rice. Go with rice. Yes. Boy, delicious. Succotash, green beans. What is that? Cream of chicken soup. Chicken and rice soup is a thing. But if you're getting a meat, you don't want necessarily a meat. So let's go with green. Uh, let's go with succotash. Look at that. No. What is succotash? Hold on. What is succotash? What is? What even is? Ah, corn mixed with shell beans, usually lima beans, and often with green and sweet peppers. Ooh, that sounds good, actually. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Tash. Yes. Tash and rice. No. Biscuits. Yes. Ooh la la. Should I get shaky bakey? You know what? Yes. My dad works at the deli. We could go there for the meats. Okay. there ladies hey there dad a b long time no see how are you mr borowski can't complain just me and the meats meat friends meat friends helps to stay friendly with your prime cuts and best fishies true and you here beats the alternatives. Yeah, fair. I think I saw my old music teacher when we came in. Oh yeah, that was Mr. Armistead. Looks like his it's his job to say hello to people. Yep, call the greeter. I knew I recognized him from somewhere. Alternatives? Not working. Oh! So what are you lovely ladies doing here? Just grabbing something for dinner. How's your dad? Alright. What can I get for you ladies? Pork chops... Best fishes, ground beef, chicken. Okay. We have shaky bakey. Rice. Suck attach. And biscuits. fish yeah I'm thinking fish 
Let's do fish. Whatever's good. Dinner for three people, not too pricey. Can do. Hmm, do I want to pull the trigger on these meats? Yes. B, you should come by for dinner sometime. At the Ham Panther? At home, May. I'll grill us up something nice. We can chop up just about anything back here. That would be nice, thank you. Yeah. Okay, let's get our meats. Coming right up. All right, dinner decided. I'm not even looking at what you got. That is how straight up tired I am. Facts of life, though. It's gonna be great. All right, let's keep moving. All right, ladies, let's see what all you got. Mm hmm, yes, okay. Well, that's interesting. Interesting? Maybe I'm just behind the times. Good luck. All right, thanks, Mr. Borowski. Tell your dad I said hello. See you later, dad. Night, ladies. Okay, in my defense, I could make something pretty great out of that. But it depends on what the game thinks I mean by that, <laughs> you know? That was fun. Yep, groceries. Really makes you appreciate life. Your sarcasm is invalid. Shopping is fun. Woohoo. <laughs> God, I shipped them so hard. Dinner time. Can I decide how to cook it? Um, yeah. What? You want me to order a pizza? Nah, I got sandwich stuff. All right. Oh, did I ruin dinner? Yep, but we'll live, I think. Ha ha ha. I don't think the fish worked out. I thought, hey, fish is okay. Bakey shaky is good. Am I just bad at everything? No, just fix things. And... No, just fixing things and planning meals. Those are big life skills. Did you like it? No, I agree. It is very terrible. I could have made something great out of that. Like, I could have made something really fucking great out of that. So yeah, we're all paid up until the 15th next month. All right. That rock salt sorted? Yeah, it should be fine. Is Rob still driving that big truck? As far as I know. Okay, uh, I need you to sign some things. Left them on the bar. Think I might just get to them. Please do, we have a, to pay the guys in a few days. I don't need you to remind me. I know, but I don't, Beatrice, whose name's on the deed. Yours, Dad. Whose name's on the check. Yours. Ugh, dinner ain't gonna sit well. Smelter's playing tonight. We're gonna go hang out in my room. Yeah, you girls have a nice time. Thanks for the dinner, May. Yup. I could have made something really fucking great out of that. Melters, huh? You a fan? I like hockey. Hockey? Psh. What's not to like about hockey? Bunch of men prancing around on ice skates. And beating the living crap out of each other. Eh, can't get excited about a puck. But, but it's like expected that someone's going to be bleeding by the end. No sportsmanship in it. How is what I described not sportsmanship? Eh. Anything over here I can interact with? Just leaves. May just leaves. <laughs> Did you guys just move in? Ten months ago. Why aren't you unpacked? Because she's an adult who doesn't have time or energy. Pretty cool record player. As far as record players go, it was my mom's. I don't have any records. I don't get records. My mom was into them. Haha. <laughs> and they were retro when she was my age. They're retro now. That's how retro works. So I've got a question. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. The dad's kind of up and down, huh? He has good days and bad days. Often in the same day. Uh, Greg's always been like that too, just more uh, zany about it. Well, Greg is probably bipolar. Gee, thanks, Dr. B. Whereas my dad is having a years-long breakdown. 
You run the whole store now, right? More or less. Yeah, but it's still his a name on everything. Yep. And meanwhile, you're running basically everything. Yep. And, and working there every day too. Yep. I just think you shouldn't. Okay. I just think you're like selling yourself out. I'm sorry, what? Like you're not doing anything about it, just reinforces. Is this really the road you want to go down with this? I'm saying it's not right that you just roll over and take it. Take it? Take it? You're doing all the work and he's getting all the credit. Oh, go to hell. Bye. Rah! What is your problem? Here's some reality for you. You know Creek Repair Creek? You know Creek Repair, repair Guy Creek at the shop? Yeah? Yeah, you met him when we were kids. When he, I was 15, he asked my dad if he could teach me how to drive. My, my dad said no and then told me not to be alone with him. What the? Yeah, exactly. And you know what? He still works for us. Why haven't you fired him? I can't fire people. And even if I could, he's on the crew. And fr frankly, he's our best guy, practically keep, heads up the repair team. Because my dad's barely doing anything. The, and Creek's got family. I got a family and he needs the work. That's disgusting. It's not your responsibility to. I know. Don't you think I know that? I'm just saying, if you keep letting these dudes off the hook, off the hook? Like you're stronger than this, B. You're like badass and shit. Y you. Badass? My mom dying was not very badass. Me sitting in this room right now is not very badass. Okay, sorry, I. You are such a shithead, you know that? Arg! Arg! Arg what? A lot of time folks can't just choose to do whatever it is you decree to be the right thing. A lot of times people do the things they do because they can't do anything else. You can always choose. Choose what? Honestly tell me, what is my choice here? Tell your dad you're not going to take this. Tell him what? What is your magic solution that I need to do uh, go that I need to go? I'm I'm seriously going to put your goddamn lights out. You come in here and start telling me how I'm screwing things up. You want to come in and here and say, oh, yeah, just ditch your dad who is both getting old and can barely get off the couch half the time. You want to come in here and say, oh, yeah, just start this big drama and make your life way more stressful. That is not what I'm saying. Oh, what are you saying then? I don't even know anymore. Like Greg is probably off doing God knows what wacky shit right now, and he, I'm here making dinner and doing payroll. You know, like, nothing about my life. You just know what I should do, and you're the last person I'd ask for advice. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. Everyone's sorry. But you don't get it. I thought we were having fun. We went to the mall. We got stuck in a basement. Yeah, and that was all you did those days. I'd worked a good six hours before you even woke up, probably, and came home each night after you and I were done to pay bills and figure out how we're making next payroll while Dad slept on the couch. This isn't fun. I should go. You should go. <laughs> Horrible fish. Oh. I tried, damn it. Ham Panther dinner. Dad. Fight. How did I mess that up? I wanted to help. I am garbage. Do I have any other things new? Oof. What's up? Long day. Yeah, same here. How's socializing? Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Yeah, that's why I don't do much of it. Wasn't surprised seeing you at work tonight. Yeah, I can't believe I hadn't visited yet. Well, you haven't been back long, and you're not usually lurking at the Ham Panther. Who's to say I'm not? Well, it was nice seeing you anyway. Lurk, lurk. 
Any idea what's up with mom? What was up with mom today? Oh, she's just stressed. That's vague. Uh huh. Well, <clears throat> I hate to be the one to break it to you, but you spend a lot of adulthood being vaguely stressed. Yeah. Aw, oh, dang. I thought the stress would at least get more specific. Oh no, you'll have that too. Hmm. Cheer up, kiddo. It's only life. Gee, thanks, Pop. So how about those crawl space boxes? Yeah, okay, I'll move them. TV time? Yeah, for a little bit. And we're back! Great crowd in here tonight! We'd never leave for we'd never leave for too long, folks. Say Garbo! Yeah, Malloy? Crowds like this remind me of our early days. I disagree. None of them are angry and drunk. Most of them anyway. No, I mean those old nights, those good nights. Just in the just the heat of the stage lights and the thrill of winging it. And the gentle, the gentle thump of an empty beer bottle thrown at your head. These days, things are pretty cushy. You think we're getting soft? You sure are. Around the midsection. That's a whopper. Malloy, it's company, play, it's company policy to never body shame. Oh, I never worry about that, Garbo. Why is that, Malloy? I'm what you call body shameless. Coming up next, Garbo and I go to counseling. Well, I want to I see if I can say actually say goodnight to Dad. Nope, okay. Good night, Dad. Night, Birdo. Night, Mom. Finally, Dad's going to move these. I'm going to crawl back in here and read a book like old times. Oh, I do have a message from B. Let's check G Greg, though. Hey, kid! Hey, yo! What you up to? Nothing kind of bummed tonight. Aw, oh, why? No reason, just happens. Must be going around. I just got into a fight with B. Oh, no! What about? I don't even know. I think I'm just an asshole. You and me both. The asshole twins. We can get matching jackets with that on the back. Varsity jackets. With giant asshole patches on the sleeves. <laughs> All right, dude, I'm crashing out for the for the day. See you, duder. Hey, B, you there? Nah, she ain't gonna be there. Yep. Ooh. I don't really know how I screwed that up, but I'm sorry. It's fine. Going to sleep. See you later. Okay. Try Weird
Not bad considering I don't know how to play this song. That's enough bass for one day. All right, bedtime. Yes. Oop, got another dream happening here. <clears throat> Ooh, it's a train.
Hmm. Interesting. done better. I really love this song. Anywhere, just not here, oh no. Not bad, considering I don't know how to play this song. Yeah, fair. Is there any messages? Happy Halloween, dude! Hey, it's Halloween! Get spooked or something! Annual Harfest play tonight at the Old Pickaxe. Come out and see the haunted history of Possum Springs. I've definitely grown quite a bit since back then. A little bit taller, a regular bit wider. Granddad said I was sturdy. Screw it, I am sturdy. <gasps> okay, hold up. Anything else in here? Nope. Okay, let's go. Crawl space! Oh, wait. <laughs> I know how to open this. Left 45, right 100. Hold on. Hold on. Because I'm pretty sure I have the screenshot still. Yep. Left 45, right 100. Left 22, left 90, and right 15. Thanks, Granddad. Aha, it's opening. What the hell? It's an old tooth? Yeah, that's a tooth. Granddad put a tooth in a safe in the basement. Well, never know when you'll need an extra tooth. You and me, tooth, we're gonna go far. I'll take it. Mysterious tooth.
I need to thank Dad for clearing those out. Birdo! Birdo! Fine. Ooh! Hey, trash bird! <laughs> trash bird! <laughs> oh, he did clear them out! Thanks, Dad! Hey, Mom! Mm hmm. Um. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. You're lying. So, honey, do you feel like talking about school yet? <sighs> um, okay. So, what's the story? I just felt like it wasn't where I should be. Where should- where you should be? What does that even mean? Ugh, never mind. Let's talk about this later. Any idea when you might want to talk- uh, do that? Because, honey, I am all ears. I really am dying to find out why you decided to up and abandon all the plans we made as a family. Jeez, Mom, where is this coming from? You know you're the f the first Borowski to go to college. Yeah, Mom, I know. I only heard that since I was six. Well, honey, we'd been planning for it since you were born. Spent a good 18 years and got into all kinds of trouble just for you to decide you'd rather be here. Might as well have taken all that effort and money and worry and dumped it in a hole. Are you, like, having one of your mood swings again? Ugh, like, I'm the moody one in this house. You are the moody one in this house. Well, enjoy this house while we still have it. What? What's happening to the house? Maybe it just isn't where we should be. Mom, this isn't funny. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. Why start now? Go off and do whatever it is you do. You know what? Maybe if I'd had more examples of, you know, getting out and making something of myself. No, no. You do not get to. Maybe you wanted me to get... Uh, maybe you wanted me to get out of here because you never got around to doing it yourself. Maybe I'm just the most recent failure in the... Ouch! This hurts. In the line of failures that is our family. I'm leaving now. Ouch. Youch! She's just getting in fights with everybody! I still can't go that way. Oops! Let's see if it'll let me go back in home. Go back inside. Cause like... Oh, nope. Nope, she's dead ass ignoring me. Okay. All right, fine. Hey, Selmers. Whoa, decorations! Girl, you can't mess around on Halloween. Jeez. Want to hear a new poem? Sure! Bats and moon against the gloom. The night is black. I made a snack. Cool. I microwaved pizza I'd saved. Though pizza cold is breakfast gold. That's so true. I disagree. It really happens. Big Halloween fan here. Yeah, me too, obviously. You go into the har to Harfest. Nah, staying here for the trick-or-treaters. You are a saint. Harfest is dumb. Really? I love it. I mean, are you eight years old? No, I'm not. Eh. Don't touch my pumpkin. What if I do? 
What if I do touch your pup touch your puppy? everybody oof, oof. what oof, oof. oh my god we used to do that awesome oof, oof, oof. well you go easy on my street oof, 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 oof. deal the party barn uh, we'll talk to her in a second everything is so great and harfesty which is basically just a less spooky Halloween whatever I just want to head home and get ready for tonight I could just do that or I could wander a bit taking the harfesty air well I'll get home when I do um, um, da -da -da. Mall cop. Hey, Aunt Mall cop. Mall cops don't carry guns, May. Jeez. I guess you need that gun for what are you doing? Blocking off the road? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't want to do that without a gun. You know how many times I've shot someone? No. Tell me now. Once. You'd kill him? No. So you're saying you don't really need it then? You should carry a battle axe. That would be impressive. I'll look into it. That Ferris wheel looks like a nightmare. Thanks, Colleen. That's helpful. <laughs> Around where I live in September, we have kind of a uh, Harfest-like thing. Don't trust giant load-bearing machines, blah, blah, blah. It's the hit record. We've always had the hit record at Harfest. Yeah, since eight, 1984. Maybe that's a clue we should retire it. Shut up, Andrew. Okay, everyone, let's just take a step back here and cool down. We are going to have the hit record at Harfest tonight. Fine, then. I'll send all lawsuits your way. Jeez. Bring it, Colleen. Jeez. Go we'll talk to Bruce, and then we'll go see if Mom will talk to us at the church. Oh, 
Master Kate. Breathe some fire, dude. Uh, breathe some fire already, dude. Howdy. You waiting for someone? Well, I think I'm being stood up. A date? Not the kind you mean. Honestly, a big part of my job is someone calling me he heading out. Uh, and someone calling me heading out and them not showing up. You were meeting them at the statue of Saint Rubello. Yeah, the fire breathing guy. You're like eight people. That's a bit of an oversimplification. But yeah, basically. <laughs> cool guy to have a statue of outside the church, I mean. Well, I didn't put it here, but can't we learn something from Saint Rubello? Breathe fire, eat people. Breathe fire, sure. This statue is part of our Encourage Criminal Acts Outreach. It's working. How's the situation? The situation with Bruce and stuff. Eh, we wait and see and pray. Hey, Bruce, you gonna go down to Harfest tonight? Don't know, maybe. Keep to myself. You should say hi if you're there. I'll be there. Okay. Well, we'll see, I suppose. Anything over here? I wonder who's standing up Pastor Kate. Hey. Hello. Hey! Traveler from distant lands. You have journeyed far. And it has brought you here to us. Actually, I walked like 15 minutes from my house. Walker, far from home. We will tell you a tell of your future, but first, be truthful. Tell us, which of these have you seen? A shipwreck. Have I seen a shipwreck? A ghost on a hill, an arrow broken. Broken, really? I, um, hmm. They're like all 14-year-old goths. Why am I answering this? The ghost, the broken arrow, the shipwreck. Which of those have I seen? I'm trying to remember the game up to this point. Okay, so I can't open the journal. Um... Or can I? Nope. Okay. Um... We saw bags that were ghosts. I guess technically the pirate ship at the 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 playground ship at the beginning of the game could technically be considered a shipwreck. Broken arrow. Broken arrow. Did we see a broken We saw a broken arm. An arm is kind of an arrow. Can be, you point with it. You know? Hmm. Hmm. The shipwreck. On my way into town in the playground, there, this old ship. How did you... You have answered well. We will peer into your future and give you what we uh, what help we can in the coming dark what daylight savings ending all right go for it tell us first what is what is god in this place wow uh is it caring but absent uncaring but distant vicious and roaming can we go with nice and helpful okay fine Oh, God. Uncaring in distance. I can see it. On a distant shore, beneath the stars. Okay? We see something in your future. We know. We know. We know. Okay, already? Jeez! You will swim out to sea and meet it on a distant shore. We're like six hours from the ocean. You guys are bad at this. Let's try something easier. What am I do What am I going to have for dinner? Don't know. Don't care. I want tacos. We'll have them soon. 
We'll ha all have tacos soon. Okay, well, I'm gonna get going. Stop. Do you see the mystical symbol etched upon the sacred rock? The pentagram you guys drew? The spooky pentagram you teens drew? Shut up. It's full of mystical shit. Okay. It is the first of three. Find it thrice, and it shall find you in the dark. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna head out. You guys are adorable and weird, but the fun kind of weird. This is serious. Like, we're not kidding. We don't care or anything. But like, dude. All right, all right, I'll keep an eye out for pentagrams and whatnot. Cool. Haha, ha, you broke your speaking order. Um, no. We're just going backwards now. Are you freaking out yet? See ya, weird goth teens. You're not gonna narc on us to the pastor, right? For being out here? Nah. Cool, thanks. Three weird teens I met. Alright. jump from this to anywhere? Nope. Okay. Alright, let's go see if mom will talk to us now. <clears throat> I'm busy. Mm. Mommy mad. Still can't go in the library. my little miracle rats time to eat oh there's more of you today you need more food yes you do Wait, let's see if Roof Cat is there. I didn't think about that. Uh, 
Birdos in the back. Roof cat. Can't go to the pickaxe today. You hype for Harfest? Um, Harfest is pretty dumb, right? I'm gonna watch a bunch of old Dracula movies from the 60s. That actually sounds pretty cool. It is gonna get a pizza too, all to myself. Oh wow, you have life way more figured out than I did at your age. Really? What were you doing then? You're ending my life or hanging out in really embarrassing places online. Yep. See ya later. Again, sorry about yesterday. If I had I wouldn't if I'd realized I wouldn't have gotten a uh, <laughs> the car sounds. Hey Angus. Happy Halloween. Haha, <laughs> hey you too. You feeling spoopy? And oh extremely, can't you tell? Your spoopy face. The ears Angus, you're just smiling. And it's adorable, not scary. Oh. Nice effort though. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love Angus. He's so cute. He's so adorable. You going to Harfest? Nah, gonna watch the game. Is there a game tonight? Well, no, but I was gonna watch one of my fave highlights. Why don't you come out? Uh, come on out. Might be good. Stretch your legs. See the parade. Ever seen the game live? Nah, never. Come on out to Harfest. You never know. Yeah, all right. Yeah, go Smelters. Go Smelters! I love their friendship. They're so adorable. Oops. Oh, fine. Nothing up on the click-clack anyway. Food donkey! Oh! Ooh, I can jump on that. Okay. Nope. Okay, so I can't. There doesn't seem to be anywhere I can climb on that. Charm! Wow. This one looks like he's seen some shit. <laughs> Dude, you all right? You look like you've seen some shit, my friend. All right, let's talk to Germ here in a second. Germ! Hey, Germ. Hey, May. Hi, I'm Scams. Scams? That's Jenna. Hi. Hi! I'm Bill Dawn. And I'm Germ. I'm May. I completely forgot what I was going to say. Hey, Germ, you coming to Harfest? Uh, maybe. Are you guys going? Yeah, we might hop over. Check out the party. I mean, y'all got ghosts here for real, right? Yeah. What? Little Joe, you know? Yeah, man, local legend. M my man Tapeworm? Out in Bright Harbor? He told me he never got off hit and hit. He told me he never got off in his in this town. Because of the ghost. Okay, I misread that so badly. Ah, oh, that's a load of crap. He sneaks into rail yards and snatches up the good and pure. Well, you kids got nothing to fear then. Damn it, old timer. We're pure as the air. All right, well, I guess I'll see some of you there. Nice to meet you. Same, little lady. See you, germ. See you. And the gram.
Still can't get past this? Still can't get past that, okay. Man, like for real, Jenna looks like she's seen some shit. Like that's a haunted stare if I've ever seen one. All right, nothing in here. Snack Falcon. Snack Falcon! Falcon in the snacks! Hey, you okay, drugs? What's in the news? Halloween crime down this year. What counts as Halloween crime? Burning stuff, vandalism, pagan stuff. Well, the night's young. Don't you do any pagan stuff out there. I'm gonna do all the pagan stuff. I'll call the cops if you do any pagan stuff. Cops got nothing on demons and fell spirits. Blech. waiting for it to break. Bum, bum. Oh, back to the snack falcon, right? That was the last thing. Bum, bum, ba -da -dum, ba -bum. Bum, bum. Gregory! Hey, man! How's things? Good, Harfest Rush. No one's in here. You missed it. The horror. Oh. I done got horrored. Getting horrored at work is the worst. When I had that job that one time, I worked the longest night rush. You know, you've never mentioned having a job? Ugh, that's a story for another time. Anyway, you're here now and I'm here now. And it's a lovely day and I was worried I'd have to smash these light bulbs all by myself. So what's up? Uh, I'm very interested in this light bulb smashing. Hell yeah, dude. I wonder if we're doing this instead of Harfest. <laughs> crimes! Good crimes. Novel crimes. Don't do this in real life. This is dangerous. Shards of glass everywhere, not to mention the chemicals used in these light bulbs. Especially the fluorescent ones. Jeez. Ow. Jeez, May. The bloom. Oh, fuck, I missed. You should try hitting it with the bat. I tried. I missed. Ninja bitch. I missed. Hit it! I'm trying! Stop throwing it so high! There we go. I did the math on how much these things cost. Oh, really? Swing and a miss. Uh, I'm out of bulbs. Oh, huh. <clears throat> so what's up? Nothing. I guess we just have Harfest, huh? 
So I've been over here, I've been over there, I've been up to the church. Bum, 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 bum. Hold on. I wonder if I can steal another pretzel. Mom, I don't need to steal today. Mm. All right, back home for the Harfest. Or Harfest prep. I wonder if May will actually change her clothes and, dr and dress and, and shower and shit. Bum, bum, bum. Thanks for moving those things, Dad. Trash burb. Burb of trash. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, normal clothes. Oh yeah, time to get spooky. Sweet. Witch dagger. Dagger, dagger. Witch dagger, dagger of the rich. Yeah. <laughs> No sleep, hard fast. Bitch, dagger, dagger of the witch. Hello? Um, they must already be out. Harfest. Harfest. Halloween. Oh, options. Fortune. There you spin the wheel of destiny. Explain. None can explain the power of the wheel. Save that is that it is an unknowable circular soothsayer. Oh snap, is it gonna say the sooth? The sooth shall be said. Okay, I'm into this. <laughs> Eight. Is your arm injured? It's a little sore lately, actually. I could tell. I see all. Your you fortune is your future. A place you will soon be forever. Okay, that checks out. Your card says much. Some days shall be like unto the fish you keep as a trophy. Some days shall be like unto the fish you eat. 
and some days shall be linked unto the fish you throw back. Okay, so some days are going to be good, some days are going to be average, and some days are going to suck. I think I saw this fortune on a greeting card once. This isn't a fortune, it's just like a right it just it's just like regular life. This cards do not lie. The wheel that chooses the card is unknowable. So this is unknowable truth. You have learned much, child. I'm 20. Well, that was interesting. May the wheel ever spin in your favor. Alrighty then. <laughs> Splash him! Hold up, Colleen. How do you get the, how do you get into this thing? God damn it! Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Welcome to Harfest Spectacular Water Balloon Toss. You know what to do, or can or can figure it out pretty quick. All right, let's go. Oh, you hit the spooky guess. Ah. I'm extremely cold and wet. Oh no, I'm dead again. Oh, you hit the evil witch. Hello, Gregory. Or is that Colleen? I think that's Colleen. Which may be Gregory's parent? Looks a bit like Gregory. Oops, I'm the pumpkin. You hit me up, the pumpkin. You got the pumpkin wet. Uh, you bet I got the gourd wet. Ouch, that one hurt the pumpkin. I'm freezing now. Oh no, I'm going away now, the pumpkin. Oh, fucking hell, come back. Rattle, rattle, I'm a skeleton. Clicky, clicky. <laughs> Fuck me. Well, that was sure, that sure was something. I barely hit the skeleton. On behalf of the Possum Springs Town Council, we urge you to support local businesses and enjoy our historic home. Possum Springs, more like, Kathleen, no. More like Awesome Springs. Okay, we're done. Can I do fortune again? No, okay, fine. There's the parade. You go right into the pickaxe. Can't go that way. Let's let the parade go by if it'll, if it doesn't link, uh, loop. All right. Hey, hey! What you up to? Seriously? We're putting on this year's Harfest pageant. Oh, right, okay. Live from the old pickaxe. When's this thing supposed to start? Uh, 10 minutes, I think. You think? Ugh, this is a nightmare. Why did I ever agree to this? Chamber of Commerce owes me big for this. Jeez, I hear you. What? Okay, so here's the thing. You won't have many lines. What? I've had like three no-shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and nobody cares about it. B. Please. It's a fun part. B. Yeah. I will totally save your ass. 
I might have this memorized from when I was a kid. Probably not. They rewrote it like six times in the past two years to be spookier. So it's like 20% actual history now and like 80% spooks. So it's like fake history now. It's like the bad remake <laughs> that doesn't respect the source material. <laughs> Starts off normal, but gets... Anyway. You got like five minutes to look at your lines. Psh, I can wing it. May, please don't wing it. Okay, fine. Oh, I didn't see you there. Be ye ghosts, are ye here to hear the tale of how Possum Springs came to be? <laughs> Through the mists of time I see weary fur trappers from 1793. Brother John. Yes, Brother Stephen. From this vantage point, do I do spy a deep hollow. And within a great dead tree, and besides with, a uh, which, a spring. Blessed are we, Brother Stephen, for truly my throat is parched. From these long and arduous travels, and carrying these three hundred beaver pelts. Let us make haste, O oh, excellent brother. Oh, travelers, spare a crust of bread for a needy woman. Haggard witch. Horrible to look upon. Frill, young men. Ye did not even offer one of thy 300 fine beaver pelts to warm my ancient bones. Thou art a rude and naughty boy. Thy naughtiness must be met with punishment. I art uncomfortable. Um. Thy punishment is a curse that shall take ye and thee even this very night. Whew. <laughs> I was born among these trees neath the harvest moon, and ye shall die under that moon. Brother John, I am frightened. Faith, faith, Brother Stephen, art thou so easily shaken by the ramblings of an old crone? Come help me carry these three hundred beaver pelts. But little did any, but little did anyone know that the witch did not curse in vain. Help, help. Who will help a, who will help a poor traveler? Um, um, uh, by, by the moon and stars above us, sir, I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? You're in this? Yep. Ah, witch! Ah, witch. <laughs> yep. I swear, I swear thee, friend, that this very day, this horrifying crone, did curse my brother and I to die. Swounds or swounds. <laughs> we camped by this very spring beneath the dead tree, and even now his body lieth upon the earth, lifeless as a pile of three hundred beaver pelts. Oh, it chilleth the heart. <laughs> A curse upon rude young men. That's not, um. She has cursed the spring and she has cursed the spring and now I shall die. Wow. I am also undone for I have drinketh of the water. 
Don't leave me here, Greg. Bye! And yet, even there, the curse's lust for blood would not be sated. Would not be sated. Oh, excuse me. Gaze upon them. Gaze upon these spirits. Brother, we are now ghosts. I'm tormented by the accusing glare of 300 ghostly beavers. It would seem that all... It would seem that all who die here are cursed to never leave. Doth that witch know what she hath done? Uh, um, crap. Or... For each man is determined on his path, and each path leads only to his end. Okay? And yet each path may lead to places unknown. You, from the bus station! Young witch, it is I, the god of the forest. Uh, just didn't expect you to. Ain't that the way? So, witch, thou hast tarried too long in this world. I banish thee to wander in the night through the stranger places. Oh god, how did you know? Young witch, let me speak wisdom to you. We begin and we end at night in the woods. But that is not the whole of the story. This is your line. Forest God, thou hast no power here. Even now, thy end beginneth. Ack, my infernal powers! Shh, young witch. Even now, the world you know endeth. And who can say what lieth in the world to come? Wow. Beware as you go, for there are ghosts. <laughs> Take care. I love that they're just walking on the fucking counter. And so was founded then this festival. On Halloween, we shall celebrate the dying of the year and the founding of Possum Springs. I may your ghost decree it. The beaver population suffered a decline. And now our biggest exports are corn and pumpkins. We used to be the we used to be the county seat. Now leave before I curse you all. Oh no, audience! And that's our show. Be careful as you leave here, for who knows what may lurk in the darkness. Also, be sure to pick up a flyer on your way out from the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Support your spooky local businesses. Jeez, thanks guys. I am never doing that again. So what are we doing now? Well, I'm going home. Angus is making dinner and we're gonna watch horror movies. Can I come? It's more a date thing. Oh. What are you doing, B? Chamber of Commerce folks are going to the buffet out by Ham Panther. Kinda have to go, business stuff. I hate this. But you're good at it. Both of those things can be true. Can I come? Nope. Okay, well, good night. Night.
This is garbage. Ooh. Um. What the? Oh my god. Hey, anyone? Shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! <laughs> Where the hell did he go? Shit! There's a guy up there on the hill. He stole some kid? He looked like a ghost. A ghost, huh? Or something like that? May, you shouldn't be out here doing whatever it is you're doing. No! No one should be out here! But there's this guy! I'll drive you home, May. No! May, now. I miss the music he trees, uh, the music he dreams. Part three, the long fall. some bass but which song let's try space dragon we haven't tried space dragon in a while Oops, too many ones.
<laughs> I literally do not know this song. It's because of all the mess ups at the end that I did that. Uh, let's do Weird Autumn. Uh... <clears throat> I hate those ones that are rapid in a row. Not bad considering I don't know how to play this song. All right, now you. Hey dude, sorry I couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry too. Band practice today. Tudia, Tudia. <laughs> because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work, bye. Hey May, thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night, so if you want to say hello. Uh, should I do some Demon Tower? Nah, let's not do some Demon Tower. Hmm. We're all looking a bit older, I guess. Weird to take, uh, weird to take like one moment and make it like the official version of us. I mean, fair. I wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary, big old thing up scare upstairs, like you, but different, huge and spooky, making weird noises at night. Oh, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those. Oh. I mean, you probably have his tooth in your pocket from the safe. Anything else down here? Nope. Trash bird! You're just like the same every day. What is your bird existence like? Hey, hun. Yeah. Come say hello, why don't you? I was going to anyway, but okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, hun. Hey, mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. I could go... Sorry, hold on. Uh, I could go for that today. Hey, hun. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want a repeat of a few years ago. I'm really sorry, Mom, about all of it. Hey, May, you okay? I'm fine. Guess I'm stressed too. Saw some weird stuff last night, or I think I did. Want to talk about it? Later. Still putting it, I'm still like putting it together. Can we talk about school? 
also later. So what are you stressed about? Well, I guess you're a grown-up now. Just spill it, Mom. After your incident a few years back, as you know, we went into some debt smoothing that over. Jeez, I'm still so sorry about that. It's in the past. Let's not go back over it. Okay. When it came time to get, uh, get you off to school, we took advantage of a kind of mortgage to make sure you were taken care of. Oh no, did they get a reverse mortgage? Oh no, okay. Well, it turns out it wasn't a very good deal. Yeah, that was a reverse mortgage. And I just feel so stupid. They like to offer these mortgages to people who maybe don't have a lot of money and aren't used to getting offers like this. Why? Because the bank took advantage of us and now they own the house and we owe them more than it's worth. Yeah, a reverse mortgage, I'm pretty sure. What does that mean? It means we're not sure how long into the future we'll have the house. Holy crap, we're in trouble, huh? And I'm a huge jerk? It's okay, sweetie. Don't worry. <laughs> Everything is so real. Sorry, I have a hangnail or something that I'm trying to... There we go. Alright. What you reading? It's a book of unsolvable murders. Did they all happen? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Sure. Want to hear a real teaser? Sure. All right. There's a man lying dead in a kitchen. Oh, shit. Ah! Come back. With a bullet wound in his head. There's a man there with him. He's got some blood on his right hand, but no gun. Huh. Last thing. The dead guy has a scar on the back of his head. Do you know the answer? Well, I don't know if there's one answer. It's supposed to get you thinking. Should have been a detective. Yeah. I would have loved that. Okay, so I have a question. What kind of scar does the dead guy have? A straight line a few inches across, hidden under the hair. Hmm. Okay, I think I got it. Wow, what you got? The guy in the room is a surgeon. He implanted a magnet in the dead guy's skull. That's why he has that scar. Then the suspect used a super magnet or something on the dead guy's forehead, which pulled the magnet out through the dude's head. That's why he has blood on one hand. Yup, and I bet the murder weapons are stuck to the fridge, holding up a pic of Aunt Dottie. Oh, bravo, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. We'd make quite a pair of investigators. Could open a detective agency in town. Could use one right now, probably. Always work for crime solvers. All right, I'm gonna get going. Love you, daughter detective. You too, Inspector Mom. Beats. Oh, today's probably another one of the uh, stargazing days. <coughs> oh, then then it's too it's cloudy, so probably not actually. You guys still work it? Yep. All right, working hard or hardly working. That's how it works. Wait. And see Penderson's house from here. What a ghoul that guy is. He has hated me forever. Just because I put a put an M80 down his roof gutter. I mean, it's just a petty it's just petty, this grudge. That was like forever ago. Jeez, May. How's it going, Selmers? How was your Halloween? Weird. Went to Harfest. Saw some messed up shit that I think was real. Had a really bad nightmare. 
Cool, I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yep. To hear a new poem? Sure! Autumn winds. Autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times. Autumn crimes. I'm really sorry that my face is in the way here. Uh, I only just realized that, so let me... Hold on. Let us move my face. Because there hasn't... <sighs> they don't really have a place I can put my face that might be out of the way. <coughs> Let's try down here. Whee! Sorry, just making sure I'm not in the exact corner. All right. And that button. Oops. There we go. All right. Sorry for the live editing on the fly. Autumn crimes. What counts as an autumn sin? Cheating on your wife with some gas station skank in November? Oh, right. Yeah, that's um inconsiderate. Hey, Mr. Chazakov. Yes, Selma? You're going to break your neck someday. I'll ma I will make sure to fall right on you. <laughs> well, I'm a big enough target. <laughs> I'm bigger than you. We should be covered. You too. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Is that a poem? Nope. Leaves! The Mrs. Varnish, the porch herself. Don't go tracking mud all over it. Sorry, squirrel. Oops. Come on. There we go. Oh, wait, hold on. Is there anything I can do with this door yet? No? Okay. Ms. May Borowski. Present. Mmm, smell the autumn winds. Yeah, hard to miss it. One should not miss such a thing. Talking of, want to see some stars? Yeah! Come have a look. Ah, I'm blind! This is your own fault at this point, I would say. Let's see. Big snake. Big snake? Yep. I saw a big snake once at the zoo. In scouts, we were hiking and one was sunning itself on a rock. What a treat. I was thinking it's rare to see a snake just randomly relaxing. What's up with this one? Big snake emerged from the earth and made war upon the villages. What villages? You know, villages. Okay. And as he wrapped himself around them, the villagers saw that they were encircled by the same big snake. And they came together, and together slew the big snake. You learn. Why did big snake attack the people? Do you have sympathy for the big snake? Geez, I don't know, but can we just keep saying big snake? Big snake. Big snake. Big snake. Oh, 
bro. Star located, Captain. Let us consult the guide. Oh, you'll like this one. Really? Because they're dead. Okay, yeah, I'm into it. Gramercy, the medium. In life, he spoke with the dead? Really? Who knows? But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. Wait, that's dumb. How so? It's just called being alive. How did- wait, what? His own spirit possessed his body. That's like literally the same thing as being alive. No, he was dead, but possessed. By himself. Yes. Oh god, this is dumb. But what's the moral of this one? Moral? Yeah, usually star things like this have some sort of moral. Sometimes things are just strange. That's the moral? <laughs> that is our pair for the day. Well, gee willikers, Mr. Chazikov. <laughs> willikers. Wow, that was pretty great. Yes, it was. More in a couple of days. Big snake! So how many stars are there? What? I mean the ones we're looking for. Should be a few left, but who can say? We can only point our telescopes and look. Bum, 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 bum. So our Harfest is passed, so it's down. Good. Missing. Okay. So we just have Casey Hartley missing. Poor guy. No Fisher guy. Let's steal. Let's steal a pretzel. Steal a pretzel. This is unfairly easy now. <laughs> One pretzel is enough for my tiny rat darlings. Oh, hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, May. Feeling better? As well as to be expected, I suppose. That's good. Did you want to talk about your grandfather? Yeah. Possum Springs was built on our backs and the backs before us. Us, us. Time was they didn't pay the real people, pay the people in real money. Paid in little tokens and bills stamped with the company name. Good at the company store for company goods. Back at school, they showed us some of those weird quarters and stuff. Your grandfather remembered. His daddy experienced it firsthand. Mine boss came into town. Mine boss came into town driving a big fancy car. Night I met your grandfather. A real bastard, that boss. God forgive him. Your grandfather runs out of the dance. I think he was a bit drunk or just stupid in some brave way. Some brave way. He shouts, The guts of all bosses. He all of a sudden has a hunted knife from somewhere. And he slashes the boss's tires. <laughs> wow! Picks up a rock, put it through the windshield, and he climbs up. I'm sorry, this part is a bit rude. Holy shit, don't stop. He pees through the windshield hole. This is amazing. Do they catch him? Nah, just me and a few other folks saw it. I trot over to him and we run off down the alley. Past the A-OK -okay drugstore. Big field, big parking lot nowadays. Stars, fat and bright. I guess we were both pretty drunk. One thing led to another. Oh, okay. Wait, when was this? Uh, very long time ago. A very long time ago. 
Was he... So what happened with the car? Got towed away. Police couldn't get no witnesses. We weren't snitches about that kind of thing. Damn right. So I, like I said, you got troublemaker blood. <laughs> Jeez, I never knew this. I don't think your daddy even knows. Bet not. You gonna tell him? Yes, sometime, maybe. I wanted to pass this story along to you. It was one night, one thing he did, in a lifetime of nights and things he did. What you want to do with that is part of your story now. I can't talk much more for today. I'd like to know more about him. This is crazy. I'll see you, May. Sooner or later. Okay. Bye, Miss Rosa. Bye for now, May Borowski. Teens! Ouch. Hey, uh, kind of weird question, but is anyone missing? What? Like, anyone you know who was out last night and didn't come back? Uh, I don't think so. What's going on? I think there is one. I think there's one too few teens there. I remember five, but I could be remembering wrong. <coughs> Nothing. I thought I saw something. Okay. Well, uh, you should tell us if this is, uh, tell us if this is something. Just be careful, okay? Keep an eye out and let me know if you see anything weird, okay? I mean, you all hang out together con constantly. You're safer than anyone else I know. Uh, no, let's go back. What time is it? 9.49. All right. Ugh. All right, we stole the pretzel. We talked to Miss Rosa. No Fisher dude. Teens are there, though. All right, we checked that. Let's go up to the church. Talk to Pastor Kate. Well, first, let's talk to Bruce. I don't feel right about it. I don't feel right about it. I know, but sometimes the right thing doesn't feel right. I, I just think it's just wrong to take something when folks don't want you to take it. Well, I feel like God would see this differently. I do, at least. Hmm. That's, that, that's because you're a good person. Again. Hi. So I had this really bad dream last night. Me too. I dreamed I was a pizza. And I was afraid someone would see me. Jeez. Yep. This just makes me sad we don't have a pizza place anymore. Gotta order it from out by the highway now. Tragic. I had a dream I was a goose, a goose flying south. And I had to keep up with the other gooses. Or I'd get lost. That's sad. Weren't a good dream. What are y'all talking about? Big meeting coming up. City council. Yup. About... About Bruce here. Wow, that's intense. We'd appreciate your prayers. This is precisely the kind of time where God shows up. Hope so. Me too. Me too. Wrong person.
Oh, just a second. Oh, fuck. Sorry, my phone's arguing with me. There we go. Let's go inside the church. Uh, she's outside. Let's, let's go in here first. Anything new in here? church mom hey heathen daughter oh i'll make it in here someday but come on seriously no one likes getting up on sunday i find it very enriching your father does too mostly but he attends and that's important and he knows it means a lot to me all right well guilt tripped <laughs> guilt thoroughly tripped you do work <laughs> you you do work for the church or you do work for the church. That's not what faith is like, honey. There's more grace than con condemnation. Kinda. Whatever. Alright, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. Still not, but not allowed in the church library. Fine. the rat babies there we go To the rat babies. Wait. Plastic flowers are like super depressing for some reason. Dead flowers are less depressing than plastic ones. My little miracle rats, time to eat. Four. One. Two. Come on. Three. Come on. There we go. Wow, there's so many of you! Someday you won't need me anymore and you'll leave. When I, uh, will I even recognize you on the street as we pass each other? I love you, miracle rats. Miracle rats. Ooh, achievement unlocked. Hope springs. Rats multiply. <laughs> bum, bum, ba -da -dum, bum. Hold on. I just realized I should grab a screenshot. There we go. Even though I'm taking next week off and a, uh, next couple of weeks off, I wanted to have a screenshot for the next time I play this. Birdos! Birdos! 
Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, lady. Did you go to Harfest? Yeah, um, ended up in a play because my friend B screwed it up. Cool. I ate pizza and watched Blood Gorgon. Blood Gorgon? Italian movie from like 1980. Lots of blood, but it's like theatrical and stuff. Girls boarding school, bunch of ghosts kidnapping them, taking them to the to the blood gorgon. Yup. Is something wrong? Nah, just think I saw a ghost or something last night. Ugh, I'm not sure. That sounds kind of awesome. It was like the opposite of awesome. Oh, sorry. It's cool. I'll see you later. Good luck with your ghost problem. Thanks. Killer. Killer. All right. Still nothing I can do with this other than what I've already done, right? Let's go see Roof Cat. Oh, fuck me, as I missed the jump. Ugh. Okay. Backtrack. This is the backtrack song. This is the backtrack song. Hmm used to sometimes see other people up here. Is this not a thing anymore? Am I just old and out of touch? Whatever, it's awesome. I'm gonna put it, put up a tent and camp up, a, uh, camp out up here. Would definitely roll off and die. <laughs> I would definitely roll off and die. Agreed. Today's my last day. So today's my last day. Oh dear, we're gonna miss you. It happened so fast. Well, she was miserable at the job. So, I mean, let us know how it goes. I will, I'll come visit. Can't leave you two to fend for yourselves. Oh dear, what are we gonna do without you? Y'all wanna go see a movie or something? Yeah, let me get settled in. And we can go on an outing. And you'll see me whenever you go for groceries. That's true. I ain't going far. Not far at all. Alright, we've been down there, we've been up there, we've been on the roofs. I'll pop in the pickaxe later. War is some bullshit. You hear me, statue? I guess you were drafted. Ugh. You died before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. It's garbage. They can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that's against war and stuff. We'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other war stuff. I'll live in the shadows for decades. So what, what she's saying... What she's saying is... She's going to wage war... On war. No address. Always on the run. Living in a trailer in the desert. It'll be awesome! Excuse me. We'll check out. We'll go say hi to Angus first. Angus! You up for band practice in a bit? I guess. Weird night. How so? I'll tell you about it later. Oh, Angus! Angus!
Whoa! Is someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, pizza place. Pasta Billities. It was the best Italian restaurant name ever. Pasta Billities. Pasta Billities. I. Ah! Okay. Talk to these guys. Let's listen to these guys talk about the smelters. It's wet again. And I'm cold again. It's just rain. Uh, hey, uh. Why are we still standing out here? Someone has to. Snack Falcon! Falcon of the snacks! Whee! Oop! Hello! I'll talk to you in a second. I wanted to go out here to pass the food donkey first. Food donkey! Donkey of the food! Hey, Germ! Ooh! Ant Mall Cop! What were you doing out here last night? I saw someone kidnap someone, like a kid. Tell me what you saw again. Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Uh-huh. And you chased them down here. Yeah, and I got to the fence and they were up in the woods. All right. Thank you, May. Ugh, I knew you were going to just brush this off. May, there's been no missing persons report. That tends to happen when a kid goes missing from something like Harfest. Hell, I got six calls about kids out too late. There would be a report. I'm reporting! This! This right here! This is a report! May, there's no break in the fence. So? So unless someone could jump this thing while carrying a teenager who hasn't been reported missing... Any theories, May? They could have gone around the fence. I don't know, May. This fence goes out along the parking lots, almost to the tracks. For you to be right behind them, and then be to be miraculously on the other side of the fence? Ugh! I was running around half the night, getting after teenage bullshit, and people scared of clotheslines and noises. I- you- 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 are. Are you trying to kick off a horror movie? No one believes the girl who saw the ghost! Well, I have bad news for you! The cop always dies! I'm sorry, we're talking about a ghost now? It must have gone through the fence? Really, May? No! Yes! I don't know! I'm really tired. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Will you at least check the woods? May, me and Dan McConnell were up there this morning because of what you said last night. From the fence up to the old mine, we found a couple teenagers on a gross mattress. We saw some worried looking deer and one deer hunter out too early. That can't be it. That is it. The cop always dies. All right, let's see if I can hop over the fence. Nope, not tall enough. Not hop, I don't have enough mad hops. What's up, Germ? Hey. What's up, kid? <laughs> you smell weird. You go to Harfest? Nah, over it. Cool. I had kind of a weird time. Weird bad time, actually. It's a guaranteed weird bad time. Yeah. Are those people from yesterday still here? No, no. We're not, like, good friends or anything. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I thought you'd know. I was wondering if they ever met Casey out there somewhere. I can ask. I used to ask. I just hate thinking about him out there all by himself. Ah, oh, Casey's tough. He'll be fine. When you gotta get out, you gotta get out. Yeah, I guess. Well, see you at band practice. Real talk. Do you actually like watching us play? Yeah! I mean, you're not good, but yeah! Not my style. What is your style? Black metal, the thrash crossover, hip-hop? I like Witch Dagger. They're kind of metal. Oh yeah, like that Doom shit, right? Da da durga. Like, totally. What? You know, one time a guy followed me home, like a guy from the tracks. What did you do? It was like some night back in the summer, and out in the corner of my eye, I could I could kind of see this dude take this turn out of the parking lot and start creeping up the hill, like 50 feet back. But like, I didn't want to look right at him. 
I took a detour through the woods, sat in a tree. It was getting dark, but like I could see him standing just off the road, waiting for me to come down. Holy shit, what did you do? After it got dark, I climbed down and got up the hill real quick. Ah, yeah, it was a weird bad time. Ah, I'm so upset right now. <laughs> I know, right? See ya. Dude, I'm gonna. Just walk through the fucking hill. Dude, we're germ. Are you a fucking ghost? All right, let's go talk to this guy. Hey, dude. Hey, you? Working here now? Yup, sucks. But it pays. Question, how did they fit a kitchen in there? Barely. What do you do here? Drill man and janitor? I cook and mop? At the same time? Yes. I mean, that's how it is in some kitchens. Speaking from personal experience. Alright, I would say talk to Gregory, but that's usually how band practice starts. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and talk to Gregory since we're here, and then we'll hit May, uh, B. Not May. B. Anybody else in here? No. Okay. Gregory! What's up, dude? Ugh. Ugh? Long night, weird night. What's up? I'll tell you at band practice. Cool. What you up to? Just saying hello. Hello! Oh, Melador! Melador coming in hot! I'll wait for the ad to be over. And then I'll respond to that. So give me a second, Matt. We have about 55 seconds until Twitch's ad break is done. And then we'll bean boozle. Oh, that's the party barn. I want the old pickaxe. Hey, B. Bay. Baby. B. Bay. Hey, B. Hey, uh, thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It's It was fun. My night got like really weird and bad after. How so? I'll tell you later, I guess. Still like putting it together. Okay, well, let me know how that goes. I will. I think it's band practice day. Yeah, I'm gonna go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no, he's at the Snack Falcon. Falcon of the Snacks. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. Feels more like the world plays by his rules. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Still, whoa. <laughs> Snack Falcon, more than meets the eye. Snack Falcon, the Falcon of the snacks. All right, so the ad break is done. And Matt, you redeemed a bean boozle. So let me go over here and do that real quick. Alrighty. We got the bean boozle here. All right, as a reminder of the flavors, we have liver and onions or cappuccino, old bandage or pomegranate. Actually, no, I should pull the thing and then, well, I'll do the flavors. Dish water or birthday cake, stink bug or toasted marshmallow, barf or peach, dead fish or strawberry banana smoothie, booger or juicy pear, rotten egg or buttered popcorn, uh, stinky socks or tutti frutti, toothpaste or berry blue. Now, pull out the one. Wait, hold on. There we go. Just wanted to make some all up real nice. All right, the one I pulled out, I believe, we'll hold that up. Will believe, I believe is, uh, yeah, that's either stink bug or toasted marshmallow, I think. I think. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, that was stink bug. Mm hmm. 
Thanks, Matt. Right, I'm out of water. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Stink bug. Anyway, back to the game. Still, whoa. <laughs> That's fair. That's very fair. All right, let's go start band practice. And then when we're done for the day, when we're done with this day, then when she goes to sleep, that's when we'll call it night here. Band practice! What new song we gonna play? Deck Falcon! Ah! What you up to? We gonna head out for band practice? Yeah, let's do this! What's up, Germ? Back to watch this fiasco again, huh? Yep. You're our only fan, Germ. I'm just here to be entertained. I'm a gentleman of leisure. Snack Falcon! Tasties from the sky! I'm a gentleman of leisure. Nice. Hey, bae. Ready to play? Yeah! Go convince Greg. He's all slow today. Can do! Angus. Hey, Angus. Hey, hey, May. What's up? Uh, nothing. I'm having a very boring week. I literally don't look for 15 minutes and then all of a sudden, Stack Falcon! <laughs> exactly, Yvonne. Stack Falcon! Jeez, I'm envious. Eh. So how about that demon tower? Yeah. What do you think? I don't know yet. Haven't gotten too far. It's good. I like it. Do you like it? I like it. Well, all right then. Woo! Stack bucket! <laughs> See what happens when you leave? I've been in shadows the whole time. Um, I was gonna say something. Oh, did you see that Matt Bean boozled me with stink bug? And I don't have any water or anything else to drink at the moment. So that's just it living in my mouth now. <laughs> Man, how could you? He, she says accusatorily as if it wasn't completely randomly drawn. <laughs> Did you say shadows? <laughs> hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Ugh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door. It was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs that goes out on the roof. Now I can, like, I don't know, run from that door down in the lobby to up to the roof and pee off the side of the building? Yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that, too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair. Ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. Okay. Pumpkin head guy! Oh, God. Oops. Shit, 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 shit. It's like this is the first time I've seen this song. Oh, fuck me. Fuck, 
Fuck, fuck, fuck. Wow, May, that was uh, pretty bad is what it was. I literally do not know this song. <laughs> Woo! So fast. You just pushed a button. I'm so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm going to sound so husky. And anyway, I don't even know if there are dreams or not. And this guy who thinks I was a ghost, who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid and also i think i was in my head after while i was sleeping and anyway yeah i think i need to do something because this is scary well that's not what i was expecting you here tonight are you okay dude no i'm kind of freaked out probably wasn't a ghost yeah probably not yeah definitely Ugh. okay fine i'll go figure this out myself Ah, oh, dude, don't be like that. You got us! Aw, dudes. Okay, fine. So, we need to maybe see if there's, like, some ghosty stuff happening around here. Like, from a source we can trust. Such as... Does the newspaper have, like, a ghost section? What? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library for books about it. No, they have the local paper paper on file going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there probably. Oh wow, I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just a bro like a broken down bunch of uh, old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich dude who paid for it way back when? Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties! That's the spirit! The library. Look, jobs! Weird, like, when this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window, we're all working, things are great. But now it's like one of them graffiti murals after someone gets shot or hit by a car. <laughs> this mural is really affecting you. I forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. <laughs> Pumpkin head guy. Yeah, it, oof, Yvonne. Okay, real quick. Real quick. Matt, I'm actually really, I'm actually kind of disappointed because I would love to go to PAX East, but because one of my favorite YouTubers, a, a group of my favorite YouTubers are gonna be there. But, like, ah, money is a thing. So I'm kind of not going. So, you know, sadness. Anyway, back to the game so we can finish up. Anyway. And yes, Yvonne, this game is full of the oof. Hey. Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfish is? Microfish. Microfish. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up! Slow night? Yep. Spooky here all alone. I'd be spooked. Eh. Larry's wandering around here somewhere. What else is there before I mess with that? 
Holy crap. What? It's Charity Barity. What's Charity Barity? How do you not know Charity Barity? I assume this is something from school. The school of being five freaking years old. All right. So this was a thing you liked as a kid? No, I hated Charity Parody. It does like, it does look really hateable. It was like, you were under some curse where a cute thing followed you around 24 seven, yelling about like sh sharing and not littering and paying taxes. Well, that's an important uh, skill. I was five! I'm 20 now and I still haven't paid taxes! Charity Barity goes to a state infrastructure budget meeting. Ugh, I forgot the worst part. It always rhymed! Charity Barity, oh no, austerity. What's that? Reason the two bridges in the in the out of Salt's town. Oh God, reason the two bridges in and out of Salt's town are still closed. Oh wow, you still can't like go to Saltstown? You're welcome to try. Jeez, they sure made a lot of these books. I think they're still ma I think they're still making them. This one looks pretty old. Charity Barity, danger everywhere. That's vague and disconcerting. Could have just kept updating that one book. All right, anything over here? No. Okay. Stack fucking! Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ, born 1967, 50 years old. Let's see. Experience, mining, construction, well drilling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50 is not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally. Oof. It should be like guaranteed. Should be guaranteed in general. Agreed. You gonna join my young socialist chatterbox group? Yes! 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 Also, this music hits amazingly. Going up. This was must have been floor two. <laughs> oh, wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here? Yep, ghost. Or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain link fence. Or flew over it. Or something. While carrying something. Oh, right. Well, that's even more impressive. So we're gonna go find this guy. Because he took someone. And he's like somehow connected to this thing I've been going through. And that's not good. This game is an entire mood. Accurate. That all sounded a lot more badass in my head. <laughs> it's okay. I was fine. It was fine. There's the microfiche. Anything else? All right. There she is. Cool. So, I have no idea how to use it. <laughs> really? I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea! No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. And you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. 
and possibly even more. Aww! <laughs> because you're my friend, you asshole. Aww! <laughs> Ugh. Are we friends, Beatrice? <laughs> Here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumb ass is in charge. Because it's real friendship. Because it's real friendship. Because it's real friendship! <laughs> Snack Falcon! Gah! Okay. Alright, so what are we looking for? I want to steer! No. Move! I'm steering! Ow! Jeez, May! I'm sorry. Okay, 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 okay. How, how, how do you do how do we do this? You sure something else wasn't in that jelly bean? No, it genuinely it's what this game does to me. Ugh. Step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. Pie piracy! Piracy! Pie piracy! Pie piracy! Dear citizens, please make note to keep your pies safe during the pleasant weather we are experiencing. Several ladies have reported pies from their kitchens disappearing at alarming rates. Even worse, the picky culprit is leaving behind only the rhubarb pies. Until this criminal is caught or the bad weather returns, we remind our housewives to make use of their pie safes indoors or stick to rhubarb. <coughs> The Stanley T. Possum statue, known by residents as Posse, is finally slated for demolition. Posse closed in 1967, but Richard Coulson, son of Samuel, had hopes of refurbishing the statue for new generations. Posse stood silent for close to 60 years, witnessing the beginnings of the demise of the railroad, the mines, and the coke works that ushered in his existence. Teen year, uh, teens and other vandals broke into Posse over the years and climbed up and climbing up through Posse became a rite of passage for many young people in the area. Residents have been torn over what to do with the beloved and de but derelict structure over the years, but three years ago, uh, uh, but derelict structure over the years. But three years ago, pressure began mounting to have it torn down. A storm knocked off Posse's ear, and the next year, Ralph Jenkins fell, off, fell from the staircase and broke both legs. Samantha Coulson Glick, daughter of Richard, finally agreed that it was time for Posse to go. The demolition will begin at 12 p.m. on Saturday, and viewing areas will be set up at a safe distance. <sighs> Also, can we talk about how posse is one let uh, one slight vowel mispronunciation d away from being something else that is much more fun? Okay, I'm going to read this with the other word now. <clears throat> the Stanley T. Possum statue, known by residents as Pussy is finally slated for demolition. Pussy closed in 1967, but Richard Coulson, son of Samuel, had hopes of refurbishing the statue for new generations. Pussy stood silent for close to 60 years, witnessing the beginnings of the demise of the railroad and mines and the coke works that ushered in his existence. Teens and other vandals broke into pussy over the years, and climbing up through pussy became a rite of passage for many young people in the area. Residents have been torn over what to do with the beloved but derelict structure over the years. But three years ago, pressure began mounting to have it torn down. A storm knocked off Pussy's ear, and the next year, Ralph Jenkins fell from the staircase and broke both legs. Samantha Coulson Glick, daughter of Richard, finally agreed that it was time for Pussy to go. The demolition will begin at 12 p.m. on Saturday, and the viewing areas will be set up at a safe distance. Pussy! Progress Springs in Possum Springs. 
Hmm, this is interesting, but yeah, not exactly about a ghost. Okay, so I just realized that I should be clicking on these things. No ghost to be found here. The way you said ghost, it sounds like you don't believe me. This one? No ghost! Okay, I'm not gonna read all of these. No ghost here. No ghost here. Local ghost Little Joe at it again. Gonna, gonna squirrel past that one. I wonder which I wonder which article this could possibly be wanting me to click on. I I don't I couldn't possibly figure it out, you know. No ghost here. No ghost here. No ghost here. Ooh, ghostly rumors. No ghost here. Okay, we'll click on the ghostly rumors. Hey, hey, hey! Ghost spotted! Historical society? Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school? I think this was when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. Used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something? Railroad, mine, steel mill, something like that. An actual haunted house? Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have like summer arts and crafts programs. Oh, well still worth checking out <laughs> Hey, look at this. Hmm. Yeah, looks like possum jump. Let me read it. It's possum jump Okay, yeah, that's back up in the state park, right? Yeah. Ever been up there? Nope. Gonna check it out, though. Go nuts. That's actually probably only a mile or so from Miss, Mrs. Miranda's house. Back up in the hills. All kinds of stuff up there. Well, I'll try to avoid any basements or corpse husbands. Co-signed. No ghosts. No ghosts. No ghosts. No ghosts. Oh my god. What, Yvonne? Yeah. I found a tooth in a safe in the basement of the house. May, May did. May found a tooth in the basement of May's house. And her granddad had already attacked one of the uh, bosses as a teenager. Where he slashed the tires, broke the windshield, and then pissed on the guy through the windshield. And then proceeded to drag off somebody from the high somebody his age from the high school and go bone in the field
look. Scooch so I can see. Graveyard, that's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh, cool, that's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. B is my spirit animal. So is May, and so is Greg. And simultaneously, so is Angus. And you guys know how that makes me crazy. Ghosts are history. History that won't stay history. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. Okay, well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? Nah, let's look at more stuff. Okay. Okay, we, we did that one. We did that one. Pussy. Okay, we did that one. Okay, so yeah, I think that's all of them. Unless you see, I'm gonna scroll through carefully. I want people to sound out with the top words they see if they are any that I didn't click on or that have to do with ghosts or not even necessarily have to do with ghosts. Yes, I'm aware there's a delay, which is why the words are important. Okay, yeah, we've been there. Oh, no ghost. Okay. Yeah, I think that's everything. So we've got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but do you? No. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. Okay, well, I have a, I have, you know, a job. So I can't drive you around to all these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard. I need to go there anyway. Cool. I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, and I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd, ever hear the, that history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop since we were living in caves. Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking God. <clears throat> what is, is that Miss Quelsey? Oh wow, haven't seen her since graduation. May's kind of a mess. Yes, she is in all the best possible ways. Oh, wow. Haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. School district did not fund that art program at all, but she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Should be saving that string to be uh, to repair those bridges into uh, Saltstown. There you go. Thank you all for coming to this second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. You want to stick around for this? Yeah! Tonight we have new poems from myself and Fisherman Jones and Selma Ann Forrester. I will start, uh, I will start us off with one of my own. She's from some big city, right? Yeah. How'd she end up here? Who knows? <laughs> Letter to my worst student. Oh, God. All right. All right. <clears throat> to my worst student, the subject of my stories, I tell friends back home. When they ask about life out here in the sticks, it's you I worry. At the end of my life, you will be the only one I remember. 
Why did you key my car? I know it was you, Brian. Thanks, everyone. Is that legal? What? Talking about details about students like that? She didn't name names. Yes, she did! Okay, no full names. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two! Two poems! They're short, though. Two poems. Take it away. Uh, <clears throat> hi, folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels, Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time, born in muck and raised in slime. But neither do you know paths I've trudged, so it hardly is your place to judge. I know it was you, Brian. <laughs> okay, that's one poem. The next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel Frogs swims in the dark. Must think it would be a lark to be a fisherman like me. But what do you know, Amphibie? That's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. He definitely talks to the actual fish. Oh, most definitely. Finally, a poem by Selma Ann Forrester. Yay, Selmers! Thanks, May. You know her? Dude, she's like your neighbor. Uh oh. She writes these really fun, dorky short poems. I'm up for something short and funny. This is called There's No Reception in Possum Springs. <laughs> she's not wrong. Arm, arm. No reception here. I wave my black phone. In the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet, baby face boy, billionaire. Phone app sold, made more money on one day than my family over a hundred generations. More than my whole world ever has. World where house buying jobs became rent paying jobs, became living with family jobs. Boy billionaires. Money is access, access to politicians, waiting for us to die, lead in our water, alcohol and painkillers, replace my job with an app, replace my dreams of a house and a yard with a couch in the basement. The future is yours. Forced 24-7 entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck and my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement, there in the house and the yard. Some night I will catch a bus out to the west coast and burn their Silicon City to the ground. Holy shit. Wow. Damn. Huh. She rhymed entrepreneur. I don't even know what that word means. Thanks, everyone. Is she always like this? No. Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Selmers. What? I liked your weird poem. Thanks. I wrote it myself. Wait, was the assumption that she didn't write it herself? Nice work, Selmer. Smelmer. Smelmer. I don't like that nickname. What are you two? Sorry. It's cool. Can we go now? Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so... Find out anything about your ghost? Yeah. Tell him, B. There was some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost, Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were like afraid of this ghost. Like filled with like dread and shit. I'm terrified. Okay. <laughs> So it mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. <laughs> Shared custody of their friend and the ghost. <laughs> and yeah, that poem... That poem is a hecking bio. Absolutely. What places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard? I call that one 
It's close and not legal. Not it's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Sure is the historical society. You know, you don't have to like break in. The people there like get paid to show it to you. Anyway, I'm in for the historical society. Awesome. So what did I get stuck with? Possum jump. I know possum jump. We used to go there in scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to like actually get home and do work. This is gonna be awesome. And also, I'm scared to death. See the mysterious tooth. <laughs> Thought if I die, Selmer should write a poem about it. All right. She has an aunt named Molly, who she calls Aunt Malkop. Hmm. Greg rules, okay? B. Beatrice Santello. Maybe. I ship them. I ship them. I ship them. I ship them. Okay. Die anywhere else. Weird autumn. Greg's pizza scale. Found severed arm with the tattoo. How the hell? How the hell do you draw a space dragon? Angus, germ. I don't remember typing that. The heck, Yvonne? Have you been hacked by your boyfriend? Thought, become a fire ghost and yell at people. Thought, come back to life, granddad. G dad. Uh, F the cops. Thought, never drink again or go in public. Everything feels bad. <laughs> this page on the right is 100% Yvonne. Everything feels bad. Ta-da! It's Selmers! A good poet! Thank you for recognizing that the page is me. <laughs> this game is just spitting facts. Ah, absolutely! Thought! Roof Cat is correct. Roof Cat being a cat that sleeps on the roof. Nu Thought! Nuke Possum Springs. <laughs> Honey, I'm Horm! Pastor K. Saint Rubus, or Rubius, or so, Rub Rubulus, or something like that. I don't remember. Bruce. Smashing light bulbs and Greg rules, okay? Bandit queens of the Fort Lucene Mall. All hail the bandit queens. Angry Furnace. How did I mess that up? I wanted to help. I am garbage. Feels, feels bad, man. Three weird teens I met. Halloween, Harfest. There's the ghost and the dream of a well. Pumpkin head guy. Okay. Talk to dad. Anybody, mama, mom out here? Nope, okay, so just dad. Hey, Dad. Daddy, Dad, or Dadders. Erg. Yeah, seems like that's going around. The Erg. Yuppers. So, uh, you and Mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. I thought you two were getting along. We are. Just a bump. You two. Always two alike. I guess. I got your chill and her smart assness. I just hate to see you two out on the outs again. It'll be fine. We're cool. So we're having money problems? What? No, we're fine. Dad. May. It's fine. It's okay. I'm 20. I can handle it. Nothing to handle. Okay. 
Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple of days. So no TV with dad tonight. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Cat's got their act together. Exactly. So this is the spooky basement where I found the tooth. In fact, this safe right here in the background is where I found the tooth. Right here. Fun. And also, I recognize you guys are watching an ad, so you probably didn't catch that. Yo, I looked up the Historical Society on the internet. It's real old, but then they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just got torn up seems like Ghost Central. How so? You're a ghost hanging out in an old house, and then someone puts in a pool where you died or something. Haunted pools would, act, would be actually pretty scary. They're advertising a graphics card at me and they were bar uh, bragging about how fast it was and the commercial kept buffering. I bet it was on purpose. <laughs> Haunted Fools would be actually pretty scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. Angus. Hey, May. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map and it's pretty straight shot up to Possum Jump. Okay, great. We never really got get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tips hat. Hey, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. I don't know. Thanks. IDK. Thanks, B. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's like right down the road. You're ruining this. Oh, in that case, you are so incredibly welcome. And also, you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep had fun tonight sorry if i was grouchy it's just it's fine wait did you fall asleep lol <laughs> all right bedtime yeah Ooh, we get a dream, probably. Yeah, dream, dream. Hi, fish. Welcome back, Yvonne. Welcome to the nightmares that May has. But also 100% your vibe because of all the star shit. far as I can go. Your different starship, the shit fair. But it's all star shit. All star shit deserves to be treated the same, Yvonne. Um, 
para 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 Ooh, here we go. God, I love the music in this game. Okay, so I do still have one more to get. All right. So I probably need to go up. In fact, I see the glow that's showing me where it is, and it is indeed up. We're almost done for the night, y'all. After this dream, that's when I'll call it. I know we went, uh, we've gone an hour over time. I'm sorry about that. But it's, we're far enough in the game that stuff just keeps happening. Love this game. It's beautiful, but also a no. All right, there we go. And now we just save and quit. Bum, bum. All right, so thanks for tuning in and hanging out with me as I've continued my journey through this game. I hope you all have been enjoying it. And, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, remember that this is going to be it from me for a few weeks. Uh, pay attention to my socials and my Discord for updates about when I will be returning. Um, so in the meantime, you should absolutely check out these amazing people I have listed up here, which includes Yvonne B and Melador219, who have been in the chat over here. I have even more recommendations in the link tree below. Speaking of the link tree, the link tree is where you can find those socials I mentioned, as well as the Discord, and also my youtube where you can catch all my other streams or uh brain no no brain found in my link tree but you can but if you're actually watching this on youtube you can find my twitch in that link tree so that you can check me out live if you decide you want to uh in the meantime not in the meantime but you could also in that link tree check out the patreon which i have listed right here check it out and if you choose to only if you choose to uh, you could subscribe to my Patreon and support me directly. Um, if not, that's okay. Genuinely, that's okay. Uh, my content will still be free and not be behind a paywall uh, at all. Uh, it's just if you feel like it and can spare the extra money, that's fine. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, like I said, that's it for the, from me for the next couple of weeks because I'm taking a break. Because I need a break. Um... But, uh, yeah. So, I guess until I come, until that break is over, until I stream again, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves, and love everyone around you, and I will see you all next time. I love you all. Peace out. Snack fucking!